Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Once again we are back with another great review. This game really caught a lot of attention from our team. Why? Hmm, the simple answer is really got a lot of attention now on Steam. If you don't monitor Steam and you don't really check how many releases are there daily, oh guys, you probably missed this game, but it's been really highly and wildly talked now. So, all the way back in April 2018, Tarot released its new game called Capelli in Early Access. And before we dive deep into what actually Capelli is, we're going to ask you to check if you are subscribed to our channel. If your notification bell is on, and please drop a like or some kind of comment. This is really very important for us guys. Because we want to develop and our channel really needs some rays. So we need your attention. Now let's talk about the game. Game looks quite finished uh, in some of the senses because it's been already released after really really long 4 years of early access. So we're really, really excited to check the game out. It's really received great and really high ratings on Steam. In Campbelline you wake up on a planet with almost nothing around you. There is a bit story to follow but mostly you will just wander around, gather resources and build a base in order to survive. After you start playing, you will quickly find out that you have uh, not been alone on this planet, because there are a lot of strange creatures that are seemingly to call it home. So overall, if we sum it up in kind of short sentence, Kipliris is a 2D RPG sandbox game that sees players desperately trying to survive on randomly generated hostile planets. And yes, like I said, randomly generated. So basically, let's say that the game always generates the new world in front of you. Think of something like Green World, but even more indie. The game includes farming, fighting, dungeons, factions, solo and multiplayer options, as well as unique generational editing mechanic. You can customize your character to the heart's content or to what your taming alien creatures are, and so much more. To say that Kepler has going a lot is a huge understatement. Unfortunately, we are here to break down it for you. Here is just some of the things that you expect when it will be more and more polished. So you can play alone or with friends in this huge to d sandbox experience. You can take on other fractions, explore dungeons and tame wild aliens to do by building. Manage your ever growing farm to help you survive and forgiving planets. Explore randomly generated planets that are unique to each playthrough. Edit your own gens and extremely customize your character. This is everything you will be fully relieved in the game now, but some of the things need to be fixed. I mean, I'm not going to touch the things that I feel like we need to fix, but still. Anyway, when you start, you are waking up on an, at this unknown planet. While playing, it's your goal to gather resources, slay stranger creatures, and have managed to your creating your own home. There is something that the music track is playing in the background and it fills right in the theme of the game. And when it's not playing, there is just this kind of nature sound such as birds cheering or some sounds of the crickets in the distance. Also the controls are very clear. The only thing that sometimes that aren't really working well, but I mean this is something that really will be fixed on for sure. What I personally like is the where is the different kind of the combat equipment that you can craft. You can craft a sword, you can craft a dodger for the melee combat, but you can also craft a bow, arrows, and this is variety of the same kind of things. You can do a lot of kind of building in this game also. Cap release is a really exciting and promising and lovely game. With the love of developers that keep on working on the game, for me, it is really clear why this game is super cool. After all this time, the game is really good and its current state is actually, I would say, fine with the note of something indie in it. Well, and we always know what is indie. If you love survival games, you will really love this kind of game. If you're a fan of Brimworld, you will notice that it's really similar, starting with the graphics, the ideas and everything around the game. But the most importantly, in randomly generated world. This is why the game will never be boring for you. That was a short review because the game is quite new and we want to pull out the fresh 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 review for you guys. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to see the playthrough or something on Caplord, drop the like in the comments. And yeah, you got what I said. <laughs> see you, ciao in the next video.